friends, welcome again. Let us take a special case. In this case, we have a game with two players A and B. A has three strategies to select and B has also three strategies to select. But uh, here it is X and it is Y. The question is, find out the range of values of X and Y so that the saddle point of the game can be at point 22 at the place of this 7. Now, first of all, what is the present situation? Let's try examine. Row minimum, in the first row it is 2, in the second row it is 7, ignoring y, in the third row it is 4, ignoring x. So the maximum value is 7. Now column maximum, first column has 10, second column has 7, ignoring x, and third column has 6, ignoring y. What is the minimum value out of this? It is 6 and not 7. So at present the saddle point is not at A22 or say the game has no unique saddle point. Now what? If we want the saddle point at this place. At the place of 7. At 22 means at A to B2. First of all, if 7 remains as maximum value, then only it is possible. So y should not take value less than 7. If y is less than 7, then it will substitute 7 here. Say for example, if y is 6, then 6 will come here. So y should not be 6 or less. Or say more precisely, y should not be less than 7. So y should be greater than or equal to 7. Yes, that is the first conclusion. Here in this row, if x is less than 4, then only it can be here. Say x is 3, x will come here, x is 2, it will come here. But it doesn't affect the maximum value being 7. So in row, it is necessary only x takes value less than or equal to 4. Okay. This is our broad conclusion about the rows. In first row, there should not be any change because x and y appear in the second and third row respectively. Now, what about column? In the first column, not, no, nothing is to be considered. In the second column, x is there and ignoring x, 7 becomes the highest value. If x is greater than 7, then it will substitute this 7. So, x should not be greater than 7. That means x should be less than or equal to 7. Among, out of these two, we have to select that x is less than or equal to 7. Or more precisely, x is less than 7. Now, what? Say, third column, B3. What about y in the columnar form? Say here we had concluded that if y takes value greater than or equal to 7. Let us assume that y takes value greater than or equal to 7. Say it is 8. It will come here. 10, 7 and 8 out of which 7 will become the minimax value. Even if 7, y takes value 7, that 7 will be here. There will be two 7 values with 7. 2 will be minimax value out of which this will be the common maximum and minimax and ultimately we can say that the saddle point will be at A2, B2. So this conclusion of rho is also applicable to column. So to have saddle point A2, B2, x should be less than or equal to 7 or say x should be less than 7, y should be greater than or equal to 7, or say y should be greater than 7, both the conclusions are equally valid. That's all. Thank you very much.